as a kid, I was kind of like obsessed with uh, Shogun 2. The game is just awesome. It's probably like the best Total War game. In my opinion, I think it's probably the best one. I know most people are going to be like, uh, Rome Total War and Medieval 2. Those are the best ones. And those are good games. Don't get me wrong, but... I always come back to Shogun 2. It even had an expansion that was essentially a brand new game. It cost $30, but like it was a basically a game and a game. You know, how expansions used to be. Now I know games are supposed to be, you know, getting cooler as we get new technology. But no, they found a way to charge us $30 for like a button. Like, okay. If your DLC is worth more than half the game's price, it needs to have half the game's content in that DLC at the very least. I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but there is one DLC for Shogun 2 that isn't really remembered. Like, it only costs $10, it's not the worst thing, but it's a campaign that no one seems to talk about. And why is that? For $10, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, and what I got was, well, not really bad, but kind of forgettable. You get six factions, and they all play almost exactly the same. Like, they have stat bonuses, but... They're gonna be using around the same units from what it looks like. And I think there's around 10 units in the actual game. Like, maybe there's some hidden ones, but from what I played, yeah, it didn't really look like a whole lot. In the campaign, I chose to play as the Minamoto clan. They're right next to the Tyra clan, and the Tyra clan, they're pretty big, and essentially, they're the strongest faction on the map. You can play as them, but they're kinda like, how do I put this, uh, fucking massive. So I started a warpath away from them. I had to escape. And it was going quite well. I gained a lot of territory. I was kind of proud of myself. And nothing could ever go wrong for me. Except they do go wrong for me. Fujiwara clan declared war on me for no reason. Like I was minding my own business and they decked on me. They're the shittiest family and they thought I was easy picking. So like that says a lot about me really. And then the big strong family they deck on me like what am I to do? I'm fucking sandwiched here. So I had to choose one to fight. I chose the green guys. They're in the top right hand corner of the map so I can't be backdoored as easy. So uh, once I take them out, I would only have one direction to expand. Okay, they took a city from me. That's cool. So I beat the living crap out of them. My other uh, front didn't go so well. They attacked my city. I tried to hold them off. Uh, didn't win. So. I let them have it. Sometimes you gotta cut your losses. I'm not retreating, all right? Uh, I'm uh, strategically moving somewhere else and uh, yeah, I, I didn't retreat. I do this thing called tactically disengaging. You ever heard of it? Yeah, I made a lot of gains on the green guys. I I'm kinda cool. I got samurai in my army. That's all you need to build, or only samurai. Once you get that going, that's all you need. Every other unit in this uh, campaign is absolutely garbage. They shouldn't even have them in the game. Only samurai. They're both bowmen and swordsmen. Like, they do everything. And then some of them can ride on horses and do everything. Ay yi yi. Uh, where's my samurai? Right here, you can buy him. I'm just gonna call him Red Clan. Red Clan came and they took my capital. They went into my home and they took my fucking copy of George in the fucking Jungle 1 with Brendan Fraser in it. I got it from the library, never returned it. And they fucking took it from me. You know how fucking valuable that shit is to me? It's gone. It's gone, Jerry, it's gone. Now, I always return things to the library. I always do. I'm a tax-paying citizen, after all. But if I were to, you know, acquire something from the library, I pay taxes. Isn't that technically my copy of George in the Jungle? Huh? Your Honor, I rest my case. Uh, get nay nay. In the end, we took the entire north of Japan. I didn't care about letting them off the hook. I wiped them out. But there was one island that I had to take. And oh boy, a lot of people died. But it's alright because we got the island, we wiped out Green Clan. Life is good. Now my eyes were set upon the West. They owned my old capital, my family home, so we had to go and take it back. My offensive started in the sea because they had a giant navy over here like joshing my trade, bro. Get your dumb boats out of here. I don't want to see those things again. Then my Bushido gangsters, we started walking down and we took our capital back. Yeah, I think Blue Clan, we're back in town. It wasn't easy, they sent giant armies to us, but luckily the auto resolve was on our side. If you get two giant blob armies walking around next to each other and just hit auto resolve, you'll win every battle because that's all the game cares about and I'm not complaining. You gotta do whatever it takes to win, and if this is what you gotta do to win, 
Then it's what you gotta do. We put the AI in the corner and he cried. <laughs> yeah, we kind of mopped the floor. Not gonna lie. We had a nice family moment because my sister clan, they came to help out. Though they stole a province from me. Kind of a dick move, but whatever. I should have seen the signs. I really should have. Everything was going great. My son came of age. We won, you know, a lot of military conquest. I was on top of the world, but uh, I forgot I was playing Shogun 2. I captured Kyoto, and the fucking bastard emperor declared me an enemy of the state. Like, bro, I'm, uh, I was the one getting attacked here. I'm the victim. Like, boo-hoo, they're losing, and why are you making me the enemy? Arrest those guys. Here is where I realized I couldn't fix the system. I had to destroy it. Uh, what was I going to replace it with? Well, I don't know. We'll figure out when we win. Yeah, so every faction in the game declared war on me, so that changed my plans a little bit. You know, I gave it the old rambler try, as they say. I tried to keep making advances while also holding on to the stuff I had just conquered, but yeah, it was all in vain. I won a big naval battle, like, I don't know what that accomplished in the grand scheme of things, but it was kind of cool. After that cool victory, uh, I got betrayed by my old family. Family is all you got sometimes in this world, and they do shit like this, like, Okay, you're not invited to the Christmas barbecue anymore. Go eat a TV dinner by yourself. Bah humbug. But AI would then unleash an army of agents. Like, I mean like an army. Like, holy shit, this posse ran around. How much money do they have? I had to do a breakthrough. I had to escape from my new territory I conquered and go and uh, basically, uh, fight my family. I gave up most of my provinces I captured. Like, there is nothing I could do. I had to go and beat the other blue clan. And beat them I did. Like, I don't know why they decked on me. Like, they just got annihilated. Like, okay, we could have ruled Japan together. But, oh no, you had to be a big stupid poo-poo pee-pee head and, uh, get annihilated. After I saw my, uh, family feud that was going on, I turned my sight on my enemies. I only needed a few more provinces at this point. So, what I did was I got three fronts set up and I just... Push that way. It was kind of a steamroll, but the AI would do some stuff that would just make me want to pull my hair out. Wow, real funny. They convinced all my children to join the enemy's faction, even though I was winning the war. But like, I don't know what they did. They sent the girl over and she's like, uh, spare bit of coochie. I gotta make sure no one's around when I say shit like that. We did a lot of back capping. That was kind of cool. Like, get fucked, I guess. I'm starting to think these samurais might be OP. Like, they just won all my battles for me. Like, the AI doesn't build a whole lot of them, and they're my whole army. Like, y'all guys have cheats, and you still can't build an army like this? Oh yeah, I uh, forgot. They, they uh, need money for all those agents they buy. Eventually, when we beat the campaign, we were treated with a, a very lackluster ending, but uh, I, I guess at least there's voice acting. Oh, life could be a dream. If only all my precious plans would come true. If you would let me spend my whole life loving you, life could be a dream. Sweetheart. 